Welcome to the City of Florson podcast, where we talk anything and everything related to the beautiful City of Florson. Hello and welcome to Florson's podcast. I'm Brian Paladin, manager of the newly renamed Florson Performing Arts Center. I'm sitting here today with Joyce Hughes of Neighbors Impacting Communities and Chris Daniels of Stay Focused Productions. They're back with their second annual We the People celebration that will be happening at the Florson Performing Arts Center on February 5th at 3 p.m. Joyce, Chris, welcome. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you for having us. Pleasure to have you here. Uh, Joyce, let's start with you. You are the founder and president of Neighbors Impacting Communities. What is Neighbors Impacting Communities? Neighbors Impacting Communities is a nonprofit organization based in North County. However, we reach out to children all over the, the entire area of the St. Louis. Uh, I should, I'm, I'm blundering. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> we reach out to children all over the greater metropolitan area in St. Uh-huh. Louis. <laughs> Now, our focus is on children K through 12. Okay. We'd like to celebrate them. And uh, our special focus is on inclusion and in diversity. Okay. We want to include everybody. Sure. Um, uniting kids, bringing them together in social settings. Okay. Is one of my main goals. Okay. Uh, and Chris, you're with Stay Focus Production, which I believe is an arm of Team Focus Production. Yes, yes. Stay Focus um, is our nonprofit. Okay. And what kind of work are you doing with Stay Focus? So what Stay Focus is doing is basically teaching the kids and young people mm-hmm. entertainment, whether okay. it's acting, filming, script writing, but not only teaching them that, but giving them the opportunity to do it on a professional level, okay. actually get paid to do it. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's, okay. it's been going really. It's, it's okay. been a fun, well, fun, with, uh, fun, journey, fun with, journey. With that kind of mission and Joyce, with I know with what you're doing with neighbors and packing community, kind of sounds like it was a natural partnership that could come together. Oh, so yeah. really, tell us a little bit about how you two kind of came together to work together and how that's been going for you. Well, I met Chris in 2017 down at the Ivory Theater, where he was teaching drama, and um, and I used to go to Ivory Theater to watch different productions that they had. Mm-hmm. And so we met there, and I saw good qualities in Chris, and so I kind of held on to him. Sure. <laughs> kind of held on to him, yeah, not knowing that I was going to do Neighbors Impacting Communities yeah. at that time. And to be honest with you, there were a couple things that I wanted to do that I pulled him in, and it, it, they just didn't fly. Sure. <laughs> they did not fly at all. <laughs> but I kept hanging on to Chris. And so um, last year when we were going to do uh, We the People, I called him. Mm-hmm. And he said, yeah, Miss Joyce, whatever you want me to do, yeah, I'll come. So I said, I want you to be our stage manager. Mm-hmm. And so he came and he did that. And so that was, that was the beginning of it. And then when we had, when Neighbors Impacting Communities had our board meeting, I invited him to come mm-hmm. and he became part of us. Okay. And so now we're just kind of like stuck. Now, now yeah. you're really bonded. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Uh-huh. Chris, what, what's your experience been like working with Joyce so far? Oh, Keep in mind, she's sitting right there. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. No, no, the, the partnership has been great. Yeah. Um, you know, get, seeing her vision and, and knowing what they what uh, NIC wants to do mm-hmm. and just being able to step in and, and, and be a part of showing how sure. and, and bringing other pieces in and other elements in and and bringing in a larger community, fin- you know, community sure. piece to it has been great. Yeah. And so talking about community and certainly Florissant is being home to some, to us here. Yeah. Uh, but your reach is, goes beyond that. Um, with a focus in the St. Louis area, um, how are you involving students? Are you going into schools? Are they coming to you after school? Um, how, do, how do students get involved in the <coughs> kind of the normal, let's say, day-to-day activities, the, the normal stuff that you do throughout the year? Okay, um, okay so what I've MSC done first. is I've contacted community, um, the um, communications managers mm-hmm. of different school districts. And uh, with that, uh, they put our things out on Peach Jar. Mm-hmm. And so we're reaching kids that way. Um, schools that don't do the Peach Jar, I just go through people that I know who know people. Okay. And we just keep rolling. We keep spreading the word okay. that way. Yeah, and for, we tell everybody about NIC's website. They go on there and find out anything they want to know about what we're doing, what we have done. Yeah, and what is that website, real quick? While we're NICSTL.mo. dot mo. Yeah, and for stay focused, what we do is we do after school programming. Mm-hmm. We teach acting classes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we be do we do it year round. Okay, and you know throughout the year we might partner with a diff- another organization. Like okay. we partnered with one uh, on the set film camps. We help mm-hmm. with a film camp sure. over the, over the summer. Uh, we do an after-school program in Normandy, believe okay. it or not. We work with uh, some schools. We have over 
Right now we have over 40 kids oh, wow. actively in it, learning, yeah. putting their hands on and giving Getting them the opportunity. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's just been real great. Okay. And one of the things I do want to talk about is what is your background in life? I think, I, if I recall correctly, Chris, you're in, in education, correct? Yes. So I'm in education, uh, but also have a master's in entertainment business management, okay. a master's in creative writing. Oh, wow. And, and, one of, and, a, and a BA in uh, TV, drama, and film. So. so we're not worthy to sit here with you. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce, how many degrees do you have? None. <laughs> I have mother wit. <laughs> mother wit. Hey, that I counts for so wit. much. Yeah. yeah. So it goes um, a long way. It goes a long yeah. way. Yeah. I'm the mother of two uh, who's done quite well mm -hmm. and the grandmother of three. Um, I have seven siblings and I'm the eldest of all of them. So, so you've yeah. Been, you've been ruling the roost I'm, for I'm a well, while. I'm well rounded. Yeah. And I work with kids 40 some plus years sure. in all of the churches that I've ever attended. Um, community centers and so forth. So children, I, I have a heart for yeah. children, yes. What is it that kind of got you started on this mission with Neighbors Impacting Communities? Was there something in particular that really kind of tipped the scale for you to say, yeah, I've got there, to do there something? Yeah, there was. Um, <clears throat> but I did go to college. I just didn't get the degree. <laughs> I studied communications at UMSO. I did. But at any rate, um, myself and two neighbors uh, got together and we were going to um, get with some other subdivisions in our area that had like concerns, and we were going to make some changes. Mm -hmm. Well, we did. We got together, and we, we started it, and then COVID hit, mm. and people just started falling off. Yep. And so we disbanded. Well, because deep in my heart, the kids still laid mm -hmm. there. Uh, I decided that I would start over again. And so when I started over again, the focus was not so much on the subdivisions, but but a big focus on the kids. Sure. And so this Generation Alpha and Generation Z, the tail end of them, mm -hmm. are where my passion lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Chris, kind of a same question for you. What what got you started with the Stay Focus portion, your your nonprofit side of right. uh, Team Focus? So, they, so Stay Focus goes way back... To, I was my first job working in the school was in 2001. Okay, I look young, but I ain't young. <laughs> right. So after a year of working there, one of the kids drowned, mm -hmm. and oh. he had a death, in, you know, death. Yeah. And the kids came back to school like two weeks later. Mm -hmm. So I was asked to do after school program. At that point, it was called Dare to Be Different. So it grew, it started to develop, and then it turned into the team focus. Mm -hmm. And then we started to realize that by this point, what 15 years, mm -hmm. well, 20 years later. I'm seeing some of the kids that came through, but they're adults. Mm -hmm. And I realized that the stuff we was giving them then, it didn't translate to adulthood. It okay. didn't give them something to 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 take them to the yeah. next stage. So that's why Stay Focus came in. Like, okay, we're going to give you this stuff. We're going to give you this stuff to live to to be a part of your life mm -hmm. for the rest of it if you want to. Sure. We're going to help you stay focused. And that's where the nonprofit came in, and that's where we started reaching into mentoring and and helping them get to that next yeah. level while showing them that they can make money today. Okay. You know, teaching them lights. You know, we had one little man, we taught him, uh, you know, lights. Yeah. Stage lights and stuff like that. So then we had somebody come to the ivory needing mm -hmm. somebody to run lights. Well, how much are you charging? 200 Great. I got a 14-year-old mm -hmm. who knows the Who's system, do it. and I anticipate on you paying him the 200 you yeah. had in your budget. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's where it all happens. So. so with that in mind, so We the People is going to take the stage on February 5th. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. In our lovely theater that's right here in Florida. So yes. Great. Uh, with that in mind and students being able to work on things, do you have young people that you're working with on the technical side of it uh, yes. that are going to be doing lighting, sound, yeah, stage management, that kind of stuff? We have, we have, we, we're working with kids that are uh, actually helping out with the video packages that mm -hmm. we're doing. Um, we have the host our kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're also going to have kids working hand, side by side with sure. you guys, of course. You know, we're not, you yeah. know, but there will be somebody working back there with the sound, with mm -hmm. the cues to make okay. sure that all those things are, are done and, and done correctly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they already know what goes next and how this flows. Yeah. And uh, we're just excited to give them that opportunity to work like that. Yeah. Because what they, you know, when we, you know, us in the, the field, when it happens, it's easy mm -hmm. in a resume to say, I did this. Sure. So for a child to be able to start building that professional resume now, it's amazing. Yeah. It is amazing. <clears throat> and Joyce, when it comes to the performers, mm -hmm. I have to imagine you've got a, a strong uh, control over what's going to be on the stage. Well, I know a lot of people. 
<laughs> I said I go back 40 years doing yeah. this stuff. So yes, I do have uh, quite a few um, dancers, mm -hmm. uh, kids from different walks of life, mm -hmm. um, and um, kids from a lot of different schools. Yeah. So I know after the first year that you did this last year, mm -hmm. you had such a wide variety of performances from dance, uh, music, uh, what... It'll even be the more this year. More. I mean, so we what, just, like, like, literally today, we just had a, a young person, 10 years old, mm -hmm. doing hip-hop. Okay. That would be able to pre present perform and, and, and perform, and it's going to be great. Mm. Is that a solo? Yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> we um, we have been pushing our hip hop dance lessons um, that we've been doing weekly since October. Mm -hmm. We've been pushing that through Peach Jar, through all of the uh, communications managers mm -hmm. at the schools. <clears throat> and we've done really, really well with that. I think I counted about 25 students now that are dancing. And they, they do hip hop dance to the African drum beat. Okay. So kind of different. Mm -hmm. But still hip hop. Yeah. Uh, the the teacher is, um, I call him Romeo. I can't say that last name, <laughs> but he's from the Ivory Coast. He doesn't speak good English, but he speaks fluent French. Mm -hmm. But he can really teach dance, and he's the chore choreographer as well. Okay. He's doing a great job with them. Okay. Yeah. So, and your performers it sounds like they're going to range from all kindergarten sorts of age, from up. The youngest one, I think, is the youngest one. I think is six. Oh wow. Five maybe. Yeah. Okay. Maybe five. In, in our group. In oh, our group. five. Yeah. five. And then it goes up to we got some adults doing some stuff, some amazing okay. stuff as well. So. Okay. Well, great. Uh, let's, and, Chris, you mentioned earlier about doing some multimedia stuff with video and things mm -hmm. like that. So what is is it mixed multimedia where there's video that's part of a performance? Is Are these videos in between? So it would be like videos in between. Okay. So like highlight because we're also giving away awards to some mm -hmm. of these deserving youth. Okay. Uh, the great thing about it is they don't know it's them. Okay. That's and that's, that's the exciting. amazing part. Yeah. Like kids are showing up. Everybody know we finna honor them, yeah. but they'd have no clue. No clue. And that's that's, that's going to be so amazing. Yeah. But yeah, but so they're working on the video packages that okay. show in between uh, okay. in between the sets. And, yeah. and these are things that like kids are actually getting to be able to experience doing editing. and Doing editing, doing all of that all stuff. The, all the fun parts that come yep. with yeah, it's gonna be fun. video production. Yeah. So. I'm excited. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, well, this is a free event. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, but people still need to register for tickets. Yes. Where can they do that? In ICSTL.mo, right on our website, right on the very top, they'll see uh, free tickets. Okay. And, and will they, they be able there. to do tickets at the door, or is the, they need to get it registered in advance? I know attendance is, is pretty uh, high. Yeah. So certainly getting your tickets in advance as much as you can. That's but... right. First come, first serve. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, don't want to stand up. You need to go ahead and reserve. Um, yeah, it's, easy, it's, it's, it's a lot easier for us if we do it ahead of time so we can know, hey, if sure. the door is sold out. Yeah. Um, if we don't sell out before request, we're going to yeah. make sure that we keep it going. Because so. I know last year we packed the lobby with everybody yeah. that had shown up, which is great. We love to see a full yeah. house. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, make sure get your tickets ahead of time if you can. For sure. Uh, but one of the most important things, people that want to help and uh, specifically want to help financially, is there a way that they can donate to either organizations? Yes. Or can they donate so, to and, we're, and we're actually in the process now are finalizing some of our sponsors. Like okay. we, we have st sponsors still coming through that want to participate. Okay. Uh, and want to get like awards named sure. after them, yeah. so we're actively going okay. to through that process. And if sure. somebody wants to sponsor, who can they reach out to? They can reach out to either one. They can e reach out to on our website. And there's a, a, uh, the code thing there already. Yeah, and yeah. I know, the I know, code. and I know what the nonprofit side. You know, make mm -hmm. sure we do the taxes sure. and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, t uh, stay focused. Mm -hmm. St. Stay focused with an ed on the end. Stay focused. Mm -hmm. Stl dot org. Okay. And um, like I said, well, we're yeah, we're we're collecting all of those sponsors. We're 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 excited. We got a lot of them. Uh, the NAACP is already okay. a sponsor. Um, and we'll take as many as we can get. Yeah. Sure. The yeah. I Net the ITV Network is a sponsor. Uh, the Whitfield Foundation. So okay. we have a lot of them that's coming through. Sure. And even like right now, yeah. it's the last. No, always the last minute. But yeah. the last minute, they're all starting hey, to come through. Every to make, last bit pull helps. It off. So yeah, uh -huh. last minute's fine as long as it does some good. Chris has been an excellent, awesome help with in that regard, because we did not have that resource. Yeah. Prior to 
yeah. Mr. Chris <laughs> here. We just didn't have that. Yeah, so, so we we were elated to have him. I say he sounds like he's done this before. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Is, yeah he's done and, this and, before. And, yeah. And Real it's great. Part. Like I said. Yeah. So if you want to be a sponsor, um, definitely reach out. Uh, you can go to uh, stayfocus.org. Um, Nststl.mo. Yep. Or you can email uh, Team Focused. STL at gmail.com. Okay. So, well, we'll make sure to put those links below this video. I think that's something we can do. Yeah. I'll ask him, he's nodding at me. We can, we can put those <laughs> links below the video. Make awesome. sure we get awesome. as many people Good connected deal. as possible. Yeah. Is there anything else about We the People celebration that you want anybody to know that we haven't covered yet? Yes. I want you to know to come prepared to have a party, come prepared to have fun, to celebrate some talented youth. Uh, the keynote speaker is is he's he's local on one of the local radio mm -hmm. stations here. Uh, he goes by Shorty the Prince, but his okay. name is Jordan Johnson. Okay. Uh, jo yeah, and he's an amazing speaker. We have uh, a DJ that's going to be played throughout the intermission, so the the, the intermission is a party by itself. <laughs> uh -huh. So it's it's, it's in the lobby be fun. and yeah. inside of the lobby theater. and in the theater. So yes. we, we we're going to enjoy Good ourselves and and really celebrate these youth well, for great. sure. Well, Chris, Joyce, thank you so much for being part of this today. We're so thrilled to be able to talk about what great work that you're doing here in the community, and we're really proud to be part of it in any way that we can. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So thank you for doing what you do. As a reminder, uh, Neighbors Impacting Communities and Stay Focused Production are back for their second annual We the People celebration on February 5th at 3 p.m. in the Florissant Performing Arts Center. Get your tickets in advance, and we hope to see you there. Love it. See you there. Thank you. Thank you.